second, y'all. Today we are on the 360. degrees out the humidity it says it's around 108 so I hope this video comes out well you boys burning up so my girl ordered some bone shakers SVT bone shakers and uh, they had good reviews so I figured let me try them out so I'm running them right now I take my uh, neighbor haters off solid man uh, I don't know how to explain it but I feel like the bike is a little more responsive to the throttle it feels smoother uh, definitely louder too which I like gives it that good old Harley sound actually you know what I don't think mufflers alone will give the uh, M8 touring bikes the Harley sound you got to get a full, uh, you got to get a full system for that. I saw a video of the SVT bone shakers coupled with the down under headers. True duels, down unders, I forget who makes them, but man, they sound really good. It almost sounds like it has a cam when you run that setup. So the bike is completely stock. The air intake, everything is stock except for the mufflers so you can hear the idle now not bad sounds beefy sounds beefy it's a very gorgeous gorgeous drive right here a lot of greenery here in Austin get is a boat man Harley when y'all gonna <laughs> when's Harley gonna start making some boats throw some made hangers on my boat I love seeing those big old American flags right there I'm turning around man it's too hot burning up for anybody out there thinking about getting a uh, touring bike um, do it man do it anybody out here riding in Austin Texas hit me up There's a lot of cars out here oh that looks amazing a lot of people on the water on the edge they probably can't go in any further because the boats Fucking coronavirus, all you little punk ass politicians out there thinking you can control people with your silly little rules. I'm just going to 
drive I'm, I'm just gonna ride like it ain't even there to begin with right but you know if it's there in the background and it decides to save me one day should i ever mess up fingers crossed i never do but you know if it saves me it saves me why not you know what i mean so a lot of people rag on the rdrs but whatever so reason number one is pricing all right reason number two it's a big bike so if you're a rookie rider it might be a little tough for you it's not really forgiving at low speeds uh, it's a heavy bike obviously you got the, the bearing saddlebags saddlebags aren't really too heavy it's a bearing mainly which kind of throws the bike off balance at low speeds but at high speeds once it gets going it rides very smooth it's good on corners turns all that so the weight for you new riders or for y'all that are like short weak whatever it might be you know you got to be you got to make sure you have skills so you can handle this bike even myself man i've been riding for too long but i'm a tall dude i'm strong i'm young i'm 6'2 which is why i got the big old apes i can handle this bike there have been a few times now when I almost dropped this bike, right? You can't make rookie-ass mistakes. You can't make rookie mistakes like I was making, right? I was at the dealer. I'm backing out to leave. And like an idiot, I had my head turned as I was backing out. So naturally, that throws off your balance. <clears throat> Luckily, I'm strong. Dude, I caught the bike. Uh, if you're a woman or an older dude, it most likely would have dropped on you. Just saying. I had to use all my strength to keep this bike uh, from dropping. So that's one thing. And if you're ever trying to turn around at slow speeds and you're in a tight spot or you're trying to back yourself up with just your leg strength, you know what I mean? It's tough. Um, so, yeah. Number three. Number three, reason not to buy a road glide. All right. It ain't a city bike, all right? This kind of ties in with the weight. It's not easy to whip around like that. It's a lot easier to take a, like, a soft tail or a Sportster and use it as a city bike. If you're looking for a city type bike, this ain't for, this ain't for you, right? Again, if you're skilled and you could, you know, you have no problem doing it, that's that's on you but i would not recommend this as a city bike i got rid of my soft tail to get this bike because it was a little expensive right i traded it in that knocked a little bit off the price but i gotta say i do miss my soft tail big time uh just taking my soft tail out for a ride around the city you know it's 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 felt so like light compared to this it's meant more for touring obviously so it's good for that If you're looking for a city bike, I suggest you go with something lighter, something a little zippier, something a little narrower that can fit between cars if, you, if you're if you doing the whole uh, lane splitting thing. So that's what I got to say about that. Number four, shoot, I'm kind of, it's kind of hard to come up with a reason not to buy this bike. Number four would be the fairing. And it's this all boils down to your your preference all right you think the street glide has a prettier fairing that's on you get the street glide you like a road glide that's on you but i gotta say look at the inside view of the road glide right you see this right here it's a lot to deal with <laughs> it looks like a spaceship from the inside i don't like that that's one of the cons in my opinion now the street glide the street glide interfering is way prettier in my opinion but i like the road glides outer fairing the dual leds badass i don't really care for the street glide look reason number five i gotta say it's just not as sexy as a soft tail right I used to have a breakout. I used to get a lot more compliments, thumbs ups, nods, whatever you want to call it. I used to have a lot more love when I had when I had the breakout. Uh, breakouts. I guess I guess the road glides and the touring bikes they have a more they have a older guy's look. You know what I mean? 
lot of young guys looking bike. It's, it looks like it's for older dudes, I guess. And you want the young guys bike, soft tail, all day. Club style, that's probably gonna be my next bike. Some type of soft tail, throw down, I'll do a club style. and it's like do I want to take that risk you know because you hear about some people some youtubers who have issues with the with the M8 and they have a brand new bike and they run into random issues and it would suck to you know void your warranty or this girl's picking up chips off the floor to eat doesn't even realize she has a green light but yeah other than that, man, it's a, it's a good bike. Shoot. It is too hot. It is too hot, man. I'm out. East side. 